All right. Thank you, thank you guys. So I'm recording now. Who else do we have on the line? The key from New York. All right. Welcome, welcome, New York. Thank you so much for joining us. Who else do we have? Sierra from Chicago. All right. Welcome, Chicago. Thank you so much for joining us. Who else do we have? Stacy from Florida. Atlanta. All right. Welcome, Florida. Welcome, Atlanta. I see Deborah out there as well. You guys want to make sure, um, reach out to your people. I'm sending my last minute reminders. Um, I might have to upgrade because only 100 people will fit on here. So you want to make sure everybody's on here. Reach out to your team. Last call, last call. Who else do we have? State your name. Let me know where you're calling from. I can't. Maybe. I don't know what I mean. If you, you might want to mute out your line if you've already jumped in. I see uh, Stefan. I think it's Stefan from Indianapolis doing a phenomenal job. Welcome to the call. All right. Well, let me go ahead and mute out the line for just a second. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it has been a, uh, a fantastic journey with each and every one of you guys. And I apologize for my voice, but uh, LA's out there <clears throat> in Indianapolis. And he said his whole goal was to make me lose my voice. So many of you guys have had me on the phone with everyone and your mother, literally. <laughs> and I'm, I'm truly excited because we started this call probably about four weeks ago, a month ago, it seems like an eternity ago, with just a few of us on here. We had about 10 people, then we grew and we grew, and guys, we are well over 800 people on our entire platform right now. So, so the work is just beginning. There's 75 of you on here right now. We have so many more people who have decided to connect with us who are not on this call right now, but um, watch what happens in the next four weeks when we are are reaching out to those people who are, are in our downlines right now, who have been unplugged. Um, but I wanna tell you guys, there's <clears throat> close to 80 of you on here. You are the first movers. Not everybody can stick around and, and have it in them to, to go through four weeks of uncertainty. That's the thing, it's, it's, it's when you're getting involved in something and, and you don't have all the puzzle pieces, you don't have all the answers, and I showed you guys a picture of my, my friend who's putting together a puzzle. And it's, I wish I could pull it up right now, but it's a, a picture of a lion. And clearly I could see that it was a lion because I could see the, just certain features of that lion. And I could see the eyes of the lion. And I want to I wanna say thank you because many of you guys kept your eyes on the prize. You didn't have all of your puzzle pieces together. We still don't have every piece together. And this platform is gonna get better and better and better. Um, but you guys have enough vision, stick with itness, enough um, faith really to see things that aren't there. And that's really what faith is. It's being able to, to see things that, that um, you know, are going to become, but you may not have all the answers right now. So I, I just wanna from the bottom of my heart say thank you guys. Um, just for plugging in, for staying plugged in. And this is really where the, the real work starts, okay? I found this picture, I kind of liked it. it. This isn't where we kind of set back and we say we've arrived and we've made it because we've gotten this far. This is the time where we truly are gonna have to roll up our sleeves. We're gonna have to put in the work. Um, so let me tell you what's gonna happen on this call um, today. And we have to be efficient because I have another call at two. Number one, um, I know all of you are excited to get going in this platform. Now, you know, uh, we're a trading company. Our, our main product is binary option trading, and that's where you're going to get one trade a day. That platform, you can't trade right now anyway because the market's not open. So we don't have to be in, in such a big hurry to, to get our trades because there's nothing happening in the market. What we need to focus on right now is making sure that everybody is in position that their accounts and their back office are correct. And then we also have to make sure that all of us get into the Rapid Funnel app. And most of us have downloaded it already. If you haven't, it's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk you guys through it right now. Also, we have to make sure that we, we do the most important thing that when you're getting into business is number one, you have to have the right mindset. Number two, 
you have to be able to market your business. Okay. So that's what we're going to talk about. But before we actually get into that, like I said, there's two things we have to do, get our mindset right. The second thing is then we can market our business. So I've invited um, a very special guest. And before I bring him on, I actually want to bring on my, my partner first. Okay. I want my partner to be able to just really tell you guys why it's important that we get our mindsets together, but we start putting in the work because we're going on a 90 day grind. That's going to change so many people's lives. And sometimes you have to go first. I want you to understand that you have to go first and then you're going to make other people believers. Pastor Sydney was in a company with me previously mm -hmm. to this. And, um, uh, you know, my business partner, Pastor Sydney, said, make me a believer. And today he got on the phone with Reagan and I this morning and he prayed over our business. He prayed over our, our business partners. And he said, thank you for making me a believer. So I want to bring on uh, my business partner really quickly. Uh, L.A. Arnold, let me allow you to, let me find you real quick somewhere. LA, you might have to, one second. Oh, there you are. All right, so LA, I'm gonna make you co-host really quickly and, and then we'll get to our guest speaker. So we'll just keep this brief uh, because uh, our guest speaker is really taking time out of his schedule and I wanna make sure that we respect his time. Uh, hey, Megan, can you hear me? Hello, guys, can you hear me? If you guys can hear me, put a one in the chat, please. All right, I'm seeing I'm seeing a one in the chat. All right, uh, hey, you guys, I want to say uh, congratulations for making it to this point. Um, uh, most of you guys got it. Well, all of us have gotten in this this line for free uh, thus far. It's been a it's been a uh, amazing challenge and amazing role uh road that we've been on so i want to congratulate you guys that that's made it thus far uh i want to I, I want to come in with a little tough love today i'm just going to be honest with you guys i want to talk about uh posture cult culture uh and, and and what's in your heart uh, and, and and money what happens when you get when you come into a lot of money and self-development i want i want to just go over these things really quickly because um I've had a couple conversations with some of the other leaders and they're telling me some of the things that, that that's going on with their team. And uh, I just want to share with you guys just, just real quick about uh, just how I look at my team and what I told them about my team. I had some people that very impatient, um, you know, always got negative, negative tone questions. Um, and, and, and that's why I tell you, you guys, you know what I mean? To, to have a winning attitude, if you if you watch uh, Art Williams, I love watching his speech, the Do It speech, because he talks about having a winning attitude. One of the things he got he talks about is is you have to have heart. You have to have heart. You know what I mean? But but heart works in a couple different ways. You know, it, it also it talks about love, of course. You know what I mean? But but also you have to have a certain tenacity. You know what I mean? You have to have a certain dog in you. Uh, uh, and it's and it's funny, Megan, to tell you, I, I have a. a, a couple pit bulls at my house and and i want to bring that up because i think it's very important because I, my dogs are very very loving they're very loving but but don't get it twisted if you don't know the nature of a pit bull uh and you get and you get that pit bull riled up in the wrong way uh you got a fight on your hands and that's kind of what what it is with business you have to have some dog in you in this business uh for you leaders that that um that you got a lot of people with the negative stuff. Hey, you know, you invited them into this business. And, and right now, every nobody's paid their money, so they don't have to roll with you. You know, uh, uh, Megan says it all the time. We're not looking for everyone. And that's a serious statement. We're not looking for everyone. If if you're a person who uh, doesn't like to roll with the group, this may not be the opportunity for you. I'm not saying leave, but I'm just I'm just saying this may not be the opportunity for you. If you're not willing to, to create a family atmosphere, this may not be the environment that you want to be in. Because to 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 win a championship or to win to win that that uh, that Super Bowl, 
they got to have synergy. They got to work together as a team. There's not one star player that can defeat every team that they come across without having help. So when, when the leaders are calling out to me and we having these conversations, it's, it's, it's a little disheartening because um, Dan Putnam gave us, gave Megan 11,000 people. He gave it to her. She didn't have to give no spillover to anyone. She knows how to build, build a binary to where nobody could have got spillover. I'm hearing so much conversation about spillover. It's almost sickening. And I hate to really talk like this, guys, on, a, on such a great day. But I'm just going to be honest with you guys. You know what I mean? It's sickening to hear people that, that haven't been tuned in, haven't been plugged in, haven't been on the calls, haven't been supporting, supporting the launch calls. You know what? It's very difficult to get on here and speak if you haven't done this before. If you haven't done network marketing before, it, it's not easy when you first start, especially if you don't have somebody to point you in the right direction. So a little support would be very helpful. You know, I noticed when uh, the big dogs get on, the, get on the line, there's a lot of people on the phone, on the phone calls. But when we're launching somebody's business that we don't really know, if, if somebody doesn't reach out to us, we they might not have 20 people on their phone call. I mean, I, I'm just wanting to encourage you guys to um, examine your heart. Because I tell you what, we are going to make a lot of money in this business. We already set up for the launch. It's already uh, written down. It's already in the books. This is going to happen. But what's going to happen is when you get that big money, it's going to show who you are on the inside. That's what it's going to do. The money is going to magnify who you are, who your heart really is, who you are on the inside. So I, I put some people in the chat. Uh, Jim Rohn, Art Williams. If you want to learn how to, how to be successful in this business, you need to learn the business. You need to do some investigation other than binary trading. If you're, if you're a customer in line, I tell you what, even if you – take a look at those videos it's going to help you out greatly for everybody else building the team building working working in this organization we need to unify anyone who separates from the pack guess what you're going to kill your organization so i'm just i'm just i want to be brief but i really want to push this message home we don't need everyone we have not crossed into this business yet I am examining my own core people. And you can ask Esau, you can ask Neil. I had a conversation with him yesterday. I have removed people from my business. I told him literally, I told, I think I told Sean the same thing. I said, I'm not, I'm not worried about my first check. I'm worried about my business in the long run. And if I see cancer in my business before we get started, I, I'm pretty intelligent enough to know that that cancer is not going to go away on its own. I remove cancer from my business. So I'm going to encourage you guys to, if you want to know what a leader looks like, start looking at the leaders. Start finding out what the leaders are doing. If you want to run a good organization, no one is smaller than you. No one is bigger than you. We, we don't have bosses here. We don't have bosses here. We are partners. We are family. We are members. That's it. We are friends. We do not have bosses. So please run your business. Everybody who, who has a name in that line, you are a business owner. You are responsible for your own business. I will help anyone. Megan does not have to do call after call after call after call to make your business work. She just knows she has to do it to make her business work. And now I know that that's what I have to do because I see Megan doing it. So now I'm doing it. I don't have to ask permission because I, I didn't see Megan ask permission. I saw Megan intercede for us. I saw Reagan working hard for us. And so I'm going to work hard. And I told you guys on the call, if you got on my launch call, I told you guys, Megan was really struggling with the spillover issue early on. She, she really wanted to give me a lot of people. And I had to be honest with Megan and myself. I said, Megan, I haven't been in, in, on the calls. You called me two months ago. I would be up there with Byron if I, would, if I would have did what Byron did, but I didn't. So I accept full responsibility for that. And now that I'm in here, I'm willing to work. Don't give me anyone for free is what I told her. Just allow me, give me the tools to let me work. Give me, give, let me get on every presentation. Don't be mad if you see me. And, and you best believe, guys, look for my name. I'm on every presentation unless I done passed out. I'm telling you that right now. I'm not going to miss one because to have a winning attitude, you have to go above and beyond. If you're just doing 100%, guess what? You're average in this business. You will not make $20,000 a week being average. 
So just a little tough love. Now to bring it down a little bit, I love all you guys. I will help anyone out. You guys are very encouraging, very inspiring to me. Uh, uh, I love supporting you guys. If you if you haven't had your launch call, you need help with the, with your launch call. You don't know how to do it. You don't know what to say. Reach out to me. Give me a call. I don't care who sponsored you. We are wanting to make everyone in this business successful, and we will. And with that being said, I want to thank everyone who's praying for us, everyone who's in line, everyone who's ex excited. That's the number one thing that you have to do. Be excited about your business. Not, not just day one, but, but day 10. Even on the days where it's really hard. If it's really hard and you have a really rough day, like, like me and Sean just had this talk. You have a really rough day, guess what? Call me. I'll get you back excited. I'll take that on my shoulders. You know why? Because I want you to be successful. We're not just giving you fluff out here. We are being very serious. We are very sincere. And with that being said, I'm going to pass it back to Megan because I'm very hyped right now. I'm excited for us to get in. I want you guys to be patient, be be a, a, a professional, and, and understand that this is big business. If we miss dates, it's just big business. Are you gonna, are you, if you cry about missing a date in big business, guess what? You do not deserve to be in big business. You have not did your research on big business. You know what I mean? One last thing really quick. Just because so I want to, I, I really want you to get this last thing. During my construction company, I was working for the Hyatt Regency Hotel. My own company had a contract. It was a three-day contract. It turned into a 72-day contract. This is the Hyatt Regency. They all over the world. I just did this. This is why I wasn't in the company. Matter of fact, working with this company for uh, uh, building the Hyatt Regency. And it turned into a 72-day contract. Once my contract was over, they were still three months behind. We're talking about the higher Regency. And when we got guys complaining in this business right here, and you know what? Our business can be just as big or bigger than the higher Regency. So we're not going to be exempt from problems, just like the higher Regency is not exempt from problems. We're big business. So we're going to have big business problems. Be thankful for big business problems, because before you met this opportunity, you may not even have had any business. I'm not sure. I know I didn't even like my business as much as I, I as I, I wasn't excited as about this business as I am. You know what I mean? So, uh, so I just want you guys to be encouraged again. I'm gonna pass it off to Megan. Thank you for listening, guys. Uh, look at the videos and, and get yourself development under your belt, so we can so we can teach the people to come in behind us. Thank you, guys. Woo! You get me hype every time, LA. Anytime I wanna, I, I just want you guys to understand that if you don't have somebody in your business who will hit you in the stomach with cotton gloves. Notice I said cotton gloves because he's not trying to hurt us. He's trying to help us and grow us. And anytime that I'm really struggling in, in my mind when it comes to business or with anything, I go to the people who are going to tell me the truth because telling me the truth is going to get me to the next level. Because like LA said, anytime you're in any kind of situation, you're always gonna hit some kind of hurdle, some kind of obstacle. And we don't just keep running ourselves into walls. What we do is we, we focus on figuring out how to get around that wall, you know? But, but I wanna tell you guys that LA, it, it's very fitting. I had him talk before our guest speaker because truly, I, I truly believe that LA loves me from the bottom of my heart. We've been rolling together for, for a long time. And I don't have a lot of friends until now, guys, I have 91 of you guys on here and, and my business partners have become my friends and, and we've found ways to, to love each other through the pain, through the struggle. Uh, so I wanna thank LA so much for being able to just jump in and, and really tell us the truth so that we can get to the next level. It's just beginning for us. So LA, thank you. Um, I do wanna go ahead and pass it over. So guys, remember I told you two things that you have to do in order to cross that threshold in business, big business, not small business, is number one, you have to get your mindset right. And number two, if you're gonna go into business, you have to be able to market your business, okay? And I'm gonna talk about that next. I have one more person that I wanna bring on, guys, because I truly want you to hear um, where I get my strength from, where I get my, my encouragement from, where I get my stick with itness. Like I told you guys, you always have to have somebody in your business who is willing to really tell you the truth, but you, you feel like you could be honest too. You could be honest with where you are in your life 
and this person won't judge you. For those of you who are in the chat uh, right now, inside of the, I'm sorry, inside of the chat, just plug in there really quickly. Quickly, tell me that person in your life that has your best interest at heart, keeps you grounded, keeps you focused, um, but also that person, and that person might be you, but also that person who allows you to be you and you don't feel like they're judging you. If you guys wouldn't mind, just actually, I'm going to let you unmute Kim Brown, my wife. Um, I'm going to let you guys unmute real quick. Uh, somebody unmute your phone real quick and just tell me who that person is, that person who allows you to just be you all the time. Kim Brown, my baby. Kim Brown, who else? My wife. My mom, Lois Hawkins. Awesome. Who else? Yeah, my my cousin, my cousin, business partner, Mitch De Morris, out of Toronto. Awesome. Who else, guys? My, my mom. Team. Arthur Roosevelt. My mother. My daughter. My wife. My mom. Awesome. Give me two my more, guys. My, my mother. My, my best friend. My mom. Awesome. My BFF, my, my pastor, my, my mom. Son. Me. Good deal. Good deal. Yeah, me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm going to meet you guys. God. Awesome. So continue to put it in the chat if you want. But I also want to encourage you guys, if you, if you name somebody, then tell them about it. Because, you know, we don't have forever. We have the dashes in between. All of us have a starting date and an ending date. The only thing that separates us from the other person really is our mindset and that dash in between, what you do with the dashes. So spend some time telling people who inspire you, tell them, you know, tell them now, tell them today, send them a text message, send them a, put a post-it note, you know, something to let them know that they're appreciated. So I want to pass it over to my, uh, one of my best friends, um, this gentleman, I've known him since college. Uh, funny story, we used to call him the untouchable. So I want to give you guys a, I would definitely want to give you an image of, of this gentleman. So I want you to imagine a very attractive young man, met him in college, right? I met him with another one of my business partners, sadly, or I'm sorry, another one of my friends. Sadly, uh, this gentleman and I share pain and we share purpose as well. One of our friends got killed when we were in college and it was very tough on both of us. It was, it was one of the hardest things that we had to deal with. And we used to call uh, his whole crew uh, the untouchables, okay? So imagine you have this crew of young men, very attractive young men, by the way. This gentleman's 6'8", so he commands a room, commands an audience. And then you have these other gentlemen. Anytime they would come into any establishment, I don't care if it's the gym, I don't care if we were at a party, they always used to come in fashionably late and people would be waiting for them to get there. They would get there and they would stay maybe for 10, 15 minutes and bounce out. And I told him he never knew that people called them the untouchables. It was this group of people that truly, like we wanted to connect with them. They were that powerful on our college campus and we were in our twenties guys. And then this gentleman went on to be one of the most powerful people that I know. Uh, he's worked for Nike. Uh, he's a development coach. He, he will make you better. He, he's that person, if you talk to him on the phone, you, you elevate immediately. Not being fake, but you elevate. You want to be better when you're talking to this person. And I get so much clarity. So without further ado, guys, I want to, I want to introduce you to my, um, you know, to my, I don't even know what to call him. I don't know if it's my guru. I would not be here right now if, if three years ago when we reconnected, if he wouldn't have empowered me enough to say, you can do it. Follow your purpose. Your purpose is, is what makes you cry. It's in, it's in the pain. What are you so um, focused on? That's your purpose. So I've been following my purpose ever since, you know, I got an opportunity. So let me go ahead and just introduce you guys to my to my partner let me unmute him make sure i can find him on here somewhere one second ladies and gents oh, okay i see him all right i'm gonna make you co-host so you should be able to um unmute your line 
Uh, so I want to introduce you guys to my partner, um, Mr. Jason Wells. Did you make the line? You might have to click the unmute button. I hope I found you. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Let me find him. Oh, there you are. Okay, my bad. I am making you co-host now so you can you can jump on. All right, Jason, did you make the line? Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. So I want to introduce you guys to uh, leadership de development coach, enhancement coach, uh, guru, Mr. Uh, Jason Wells. How are you doing tonight? Today, actually. Um I'm good. I can't believe you just told these people that story. That's crazy. I'm sorry. I had to. <laughs> I had to. I actually tell the story often, but um, the untouchable. But Jason, um, I want to thank you so much for getting on here because I know that you've been traveling all over the country, um, empowering, inspiring, igniting. Uh, and, and for those of you guys who are in the Telegram, when I put in those morning ignites, that's not from me. I told you guys that's from from the enhancement coach. That's from Jason Wells, and uh, he is really doing phenomenal things just for people. He's in the basket. He was in the basketball world, but he's so much more than that uh, now. So, uh, Jason, if you wouldn't mind just telling just the people just a little bit about yourself. I know I touched on it a little bit, but if you could just tell them a little bit about yourself and you know where you are in your life, what your vision is for um, for your business, for your journey. No, I did. Thanks, Megan. Um, <clears throat> and hello to everybody on. I, really simply, I don't necessarily like talking about myself a whole lot, but um, yeah, basketball was the tool. Basketball was the tool that was provided to me an opportunity to develop a skill set, develop that into a passion um, and, and turn that into opportunities. Um, and it was it was amazing <clears throat> i'm a little boy from cleveland ohio that went to school in indiana and then was blessed and i use that word very specifically blessed over fortunate over lucky um you know i was blessed to be able to play 13 years professionally international so i, I didn't i didn't run up and down the nba court i know guys who did and i had opportunities but i never officially made an nba team um, but I literally got to see the world for 13 years from the age of 21 to the age of 34. I spent eight to 10 months in somebody else's country. And, um, you know, the way that I like to to really summarize that experience is I learned myself by learning other people. Um, you know, this is not, this is, that wasn't a vacation. I wasn't going to Italy for two weeks and going to Rome and going to Milan and seeing the touristy things, that was being immersed in somebody else's culture. And I got that opportunity for 13 years of my life. And um, those times, those times, <clears throat> excuse me, those times of being alone, those times of being with teammates, those times of being with people, the people I've met, the places I've gone, the things I've done have really formed me into who I am today as a 42 year old man. And um, for those of you that haven't noticed, I have a Y in my name. And up until my 40th birthday, I was just a guy that just hated to have his name misspelled. And leading into my 40th birthday a couple years ago, I called my mom and I told her, thank you for whatever inspired her to put in that Y in my name because it gave total validation to who I am because that was around the time that I started to understand that not only the why in my name, but the journey that I, that I had gone through, my experiences, and that the things that I was to continue to go through were who I am. And yeah, right now, you know, Megan touched on the things that drive you. And what drive me is I want people to think, feel, and act with purpose, period. You know, it's as simple as that. One of the things that I talk about often is the difference between simple and easy. And those things are not synonyms. Those words are not synonyms. Simple is not easy. And that's why most people do the easy thing because the simple thing is more difficult. So, you know, whether you're talking about losing weight, it's simple how to lose weight, eat well, uh, exercise often, get some good rest, you know, for the most part, that's, it's simple. But the easy thing to do is, you know, stop at a fast food restaurant when you don't want to meal prep or do something like that. And so, um, yeah, very simply, I just want people to live 
a life of purpose like I do. And, I, and the journey's ongoing. There is no finish line to this thing, but man, it's been a heck of a ride so far. So I just want to guide people through kind of the way that I've done it. Well, you've done a phenomenal job. Um, Jason, I know you pour into me all the time and that's why I said, I want to make it a point for people to, to not only hear, you know, my passion, but to hear where I get my strength from. And it's definitely the people that I choose to surround myself with, because that's very important. And it's, it's the, the culture that I'm building in my own life. So if you can touch just uh, lastly, because I know you have a million things to do. And I said I wouldn't keep you on here long. But if you could just touch um, on the on culture, because I've talked to you about this. And I build things slowly now. I, Jason, I used to jump into things and I didn't give too much thought to it. And when you do that, you tend to destroy the two most important things are the two things you spend the majority of your time doing, which is business, like going to work and relationships. So I've really been intentional since I've talked to you and move with purpose that I want to build a culture that is rock solid, number one. It's not going to be without its issues, but I want to build a culture that's rock solid. So when I bring people into my space, like LA said, when I invite people into my business, that they're coming into a culture, not into a business where we're going to learn Forex and blah, 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 and all that kind of stuff. But I'm, I want to bring people into a culture where honestly love is, is at the forefront because you cannot do anything well without love so if you wouldn't mind just lastly kind of talking to the people about um how do you build a culture of love because we have 90 people on here and we're going first jason i want you to understand in the next 90 days remember all of you guys remember i said this there's 800 and something people in this organization there'll be 10,000 people in this organization in the next 90 days okay trust and believe that that's going to happen and we want to make sure that our culture is that of love. So Jason, can you tell us how do we build that culture? How do we make sure that everybody is coming in? And that's the, that's the focus, first of all, not the money, not the anything else, but. Yeah, <clears throat> no, like, and so you are, you are about to get a, the, the tip of the iceberg of, what I talk to businesses about fortune 500 businesses, small businesses, people. And so like Megan, when you say you want to build a culture of love, that sounds great. But my question to you would be how, you know, everybody knows the value of a great culture. Everybody knows um, what happens when you are working in an environment where people feel supported, where people feel valued, where people feel like they can grow, where they can make mistakes. And like, so everybody knows that, but my question would be how? And so, you know, my challenge would be, yes, you want to get to a point where you have a culture of love, but that's not where you start. You don't start with love. And I know there's books that talk about leading with love and that that's cool, but let's talk about the reality of it. The reality of it is whether you're talking about a romantic relationship, a family, family may be a little bit different because you're kind of born into that love. But in a romantic relationship, you're not walking up to someone saying, I love them. There's a process before you get to that point. And none of us can really pinpoint what that time is. Some people say they can think back and there was love at first sight after thinking back. But, um, and, you know, I just want to touch quickly on the process that I believe gets us to that point of love before I finish up with specifically about love. And so um, the first thing is we like we have to connect and you got to connect with yourself first. So connecting with yourself the way that I explained it is going to be embracing who you are, embracing what you've gone through, it's embracing your experience, stop running from it, stop acting like nobody cares about it, like it's yours. It is, it is who you are. And most of us don't embrace our past because that's where all the garbage happened. That's where, you know, those are the things that we want to run from. Maybe we had a rough childhood. Maybe our parents got divorced. Maybe our parents passed away. Maybe I didn't make the best decisions. Like nobody cares. That is who made you who you are. And the reason you are where you're at is because of who you are. And so embracing that is, is the first step of allowing you to connect to yourself. 
like self-awareness. People talk about purpose all the time. And for me, the backbone of, of why is, is who, who you like, people don't know why they're here because they don't know who they are. And so to step into that self-awareness of embracing your story allows you to connect to yourself. Now that I'm connected to myself, I can authentically connect to other people. And how do I do that is with vulnerability. Um, but you, you like people hesitate with vulnerability because like, you know, that's, that's a touchy subject, but if you're authentic with who you are, then that vulnerability, you can't hide it because you start tapping into the emotions of the things that you've gone through that have gotten you to where you are. And those things will inevitably come out. And so now I'm connected with self, which now allows me to connect to other people. Now there's opportunity for relationship because you would hope that me being authentically vulnerable to them is going to allow them the space to be authentically vulnerable with me. And now you have two individuals that are giving their most authentic self and true relationship is starting to occur. The reason we don't get to true relationship is because very few people are authentically giving themselves. We live in a world of likes and follows and scrolling and looking at the highlights of other people's lives when and then comparing our real life to their highlights like that's that ain't the way it works and that's not how we get to authentic connection so connection is first the relationship is first after we've established that relationship now we can move into what i like to refer to as trust um trust doesn't happen again you're not walking up to somebody telling them your deepest darkest stories and and trusting that they'll be okay with them so again every the foundation of this whole thing is relationship relationship with self, relationship with others. Now we can trust. And trust, now we're going to talk about accountability and responsibility and blame and confrontation and conflict and having those tough conversations. But, you know, the way that I word it is a relationship has to be strong enough to bear the weight of the truth. If you're not, um, if, if there's no relationship there, then I can go in and, and tell the truth but the relationship isn't strong enough to bear that. So I work in the youth basketball industry where every kid thinks they're going to the NBA or the WNBA. Well, I can't walk into a room and say, y'all ain't good enough to go to the NBA, which is the truth, but because there's no relationship there. Like, so relationship connection leads, gives us an opportunity to start to move into trust, which is again, accountability and honesty. And the backbone of trust is consistency. Like you, like you have to do things consistently in order to establish any type of trust. And now that we connect and we trust, now we can move into love. And this was a tough one for me. One of my business partners here um, actually challenged me and she said, like, I don't know if you're going to be able to use the word love in the corporate space because in that space, people just aren't used to using that love. And I, I, I was challenged by it and I came home and I prayed on it and I thought about it for a couple of days. And then I came back to it and I said, yeah, I'm rolling with it because that is the thing that will trump all. So whether you're talking about in Corinthians love, whether you're talking about agape love, like I'm, I'm, I'm not talking romantic or family or occupational love. And so the way that I define love is a commitment to someone else's well-being. Just as simple as that. I am committed to someone else's well-being. And the three things that I talk about when I'm talking about love are what I refer to as the three S's, service, sacrifice, and surrender. When you hear those words, those are words of weakness in our society, in our language, those are like, you, you don't hear those words and you don't think to yourself, oh yeah, I'm ready to go serve and sacrifice and surrender. Like those are words of weakness when, when used the way that we use them. However, when you break those things down to their simplest form, and that's one of the things that I remember from math. I don't remember the Pythagorean theorem, but I remember when we started doing fractions and they said break things down to their simplest form. And when you break service and sacrifice and surrender down to their simplest form, it is power because those three things lead to love. And again, love is just a commitment to someone else's well-being. And so when you're talking service, I'm talking about be that to which you desire out of others. Like the way that you, the way that you want to be perceived, like you need to be that. And now you're, you're, it's not about you. 
Uh, one of the things I like to talk about is, is who's great because of your greatness. I talk about success and significance. Success is great for you, but significance is you doing great for somebody else. So that's what I'm talking about when I talk about service. Um, sacrifice is just to let go and just make space. Just let go. Just, just let go and realize that there is something bigger than you leading you towards where you need to be. And whether that's um, in a one-on-one -on -one relationship or whether that's in a spiritual relationship or just with a self relationship to be able to sacrifice and allow and just let go. And then surrender is <laughs> to just allow what is um, and just be receptive. And again, those three things, like to, the ability to just allow what is to be and understand that this is how I'm going to grow. This is the way that was meant for me to grow. Um, I'll finish with this. Megan has been tremendous in these last two days because I'm going through a tough time with um, my lady. And yeah, it, it's just my ability to be able to know who I am allows me to be authentically vulnerable. And like she's running around talking about untouchable this and untouchable that and who me and my friends represented in college. And that means absolutely nothing to me when 20 years later, I'm sitting on the phone crying like a teenage girl because my heart is broken because of my lady. Um, and I say that to A, let a bunch of 85 people that I have no idea who you are. Uh, I have absolutely no issue letting you know where that vulnerability comes from. And it comes from a place of knowing myself. and when you can love self, you, you, like, you can't love others before you love self. That's just the reality of it. You can't connect with others before you connect with yourself. And so the bottom line to all of this is, is you got to start with self. And, you know, I tell Megan all the time that self-love is not selfish. Self-love is not selfish. Like, you got to love self. It says my cup runneth over. And so for your cup to run over, it's got to be full. You cannot give what you do not have. And so I don't know anything about network marketing, multi-level marketing, but I do know this. If you're going to talk about network marketing, when I hear, when I hear the word network, I think connections. And as you're building your teams and building your legs and putting people in places that they are going to grow and prosper and be better, then you have to start with connection with self. They are not going to buy into the product that you're selling. They're going to buy into the authenticity of your story. So stop, don't sell a product, sell your story by embracing it and sharing it and sharing your feelings, naming your feelings, knowing who you are. So yeah, I'll, I'll shut up after that because I'm much like LA. I'll get on a roll and I'll use up the whole hour. <laughs> no, I'm like, I'm over here because you know I'm not a super emotional person, but there are certain things that that you say that will push me to that level. And we have been on the phone and we've shed tears together. You know, we've laughed together. We we've we've done all these amazing things together. But you you really do speak to my soul. And I don't know if you guys have somebody in your life that you talk to on the phone. And um, Jason and and I had my uh, he hates when I call it my significant other. It was my boy, my, or my man friend at the time. <laughs> <laughs> he always makes me change. Like, you are not in high school. You do not have a boyfriend. But um, you guys know Robert. I talk about Robert all the time. And it's when you have an authentic connection with somebody that no matter what happens, you stay connected to that person because you have a, a deeper connection. And, and Jason, you just said something that you cannot give what you don't have. And a lot of people try to, we have our whys and we want to do for everybody and we want to give them things. And you're absolutely right. I cannot give to my mom. I cannot give to my dad if I don't, number one, know who I am, love myself, figure out why I'm here, like what the purpose is so that I do have something to give. And lastly, Jason has, has really challenged me to be better. I didn't have a lot of, there's 85 of you on here. That never happened before. I had I had Byron in LA and my sister. That's it. The three of us rocking together. And now you guys beat me on a call. 
And the only reason is, is because four weeks ago, I decided to be authentically me. I decided to talk about what breaks my heart and why I do what I do. And I encourage many of you guys, if you're struggling to get people into your business, it, it has nothing to do with the business. Like Forex, all that makes money. Like our product makes money. It's, it's maybe, and this is the harsh reality, and I don't know if I'm saying this right, Jason, but the harsh reality is, is that people don't join your business, but, but they're really not joining you right now until you know you. <laughs> Am I right, Jason? Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Yeah, so I just encourage you guys to, we're really big on self-development. We're getting ready to embark on 90 days. I don't want you guys to jump in um, and start throwing up Forex and binary options and throwing your snapshots of your whatever to them and think that's what's going to get them to get into your business. You have to know you and then you have to make a connection. I, Amanda, when I was putting the whole organization together, like Amanda was that person that was Amanda and Randy and, and, and Byron, but Amanda was that person who I thought about like very deeply because we, we shared, you know, just some, some intimate moments on the, through text message though. I've never met Amanda before in my life, but I'm, I feel connected to her. I don't want to win for me. Like I really want to win for her. I want to win for LA and for Byron. I want to win for Deshaun. Deshaun has a powerful story. I want to win for Phoenix. And every person who is, is treating this like a family and not like a business, and you're taking the time to truly connect. I want to, I want to win for Pastor Sydney because I know that Pastor Sydney wants to win for a whole nation of people who are struggling, guys. You know, in Nigeria, I love my Nigerian brothers and sisters, they have so much heart. They want it so badly. You know why? Because nobody is giving them anything. They're in a country where nothing's being handed to them. Over here, like we get a little bit spoiled sometimes because we can go to the grocery store and just get food. We can go do certain things. And I'm not saying it's not tough over here, but I want you guys to understand that when you start making authentic connections with yourself and with other people, that is what, what keeps you up at night. I don't go to sleep. LA, LA knows I don't, I don't get myself together and go to bed. I pass the freak out. Like I, when I'm done, I'm done. Like I'm, I'm out. And then I wake up, but I'm not drained. I'm enthusiastic. I'm just tired. That's it. I'm tired and I fall out and I wake up with the same energy that I had before. And when I don't have the energy, Jason knows, LA knows, Byron knows, I will call them and say, hey, partner. <laughs> and we talk and I get re-energized so that I have something to give other people. So lastly, I want to say, if you don't take care of the caregiver, you won't have anything left to give. So don't think that you're being selfish by giving to yourself. You got to take care of you. We're getting ready to put our, our tennis shoes on. You got to lace up your shoes because I'm running for 90 plus days. Okay, nonstop. I appreciate you guys telling me, you know, that I need to slow down or whatever. Not going to happen. Just pray for me. That's all I want you to do. But when people, when I was running um, like crazy, teaching high school and grading papers all throughout the day, and students were great, but then they were also beating me up, and administration was beating me up, and all that kind of stuff. Nobody ever said, Megan, you need to slow down, take a day off. They're like, you can do it, keep going. <laughs> Now that I'm going after my hopes and dreams, everybody wants me to take a nap, I think. So anyways, I want to thank you guys, Jason. From the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you. We are going to hear from you. God willing, um, I want my people to hear from you at least once a month, my, my people. I want my family to hear from you because you are now part of our family. So if you guys wouldn't mind, I'm going to unmute and be very uh, elementary. Would you guys just unmute your lines and just say thank you to our Enhancement coach Jason, you can unmute. Thank you, Jason. 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 Thank all right, well, I know that we have to get rolling, and it's 155 right now, and I know many of you guys, so Jason, thank you. I know you have to jump off of here 
And I know that many of you guys are waiting patiently and you wanna know what to do. And you know me, I want you guys to snapshot this because Reagan, can you come in here? She's in the other room. <laughs> Reagan, can you come in here with me? My sister does much better at giving you guys steps. I'm not really good at it. I'm just gonna say my weakness is being um, specific and, and clear sometimes. I'm very passionate and I speak from the heart, but when administrative things need to get done, I tend to struggle a hair. So uh, can you guys get your pen and paper out really quickly? Reagan, can you come in here, please? Uh, so I want you guys to understand that we are in the midst of pre-launch. So number one, okay, our mindset has to be in order. And I hope that you guys got filled up because you cannot do this business if your mind isn't right. I don't care what information I give you right now, it ain't gonna happen. You're not gonna put people in your business. Now, number two is marketing is the most important thing. You could be the best rapper in the world. I heard this from my mentor. You could be the best rapper or the best singer in the world, but if you don't have the right distribution, if you don't market correctly, you're gonna be just the next person rapping and singing at your family reunion. Your aunt's gonna be like, you know, bringing you up on stage and your family's gonna celebrate you. But if you don't know how to market, guys, you're not going to be as successful in this business. And Byron says it all the time. Uh, LA says it, while everybody's impatiently kind of, I want to get in, I want to get in. Have you really taken care of the marketing side of your business? Have you set your system up so that you can make sure that when you, all these people start coming in, into your organization, they don't end up going out the back door because you haven't trained them, okay? So I want you guys to understand really quickly and take a snapshot of this. I'm doing another call today because I got to make some videos. Um, I'm doing another call today. Now listen, if you are already in the business, you're already in the back office, you're a pre-launch member, I want you guys to understand that what you need to do is you're going to want to snapshot this and go to your referral link. The great thing is, is that Reagan and I created Apprentice Minds as our referral. We dumped everybody in and then we put you guys into the back office. The company does the same thing, except now, awesome, you guys have your own website that you can go to, like, don't go to there now because you're not going to be paying attention to me. You're going to snapshot this and you're going to go to tprmoney.com slash whatever your username is that you used for your, uh, during the pre-launch. So mine, for example, is tprmoney.com slash Megan Lynch. That is the link that I'm gonna to give to people. I'm not gonna give them Apprentice Minds. I'm not gonna give them modernmoneyteam.com. I'm gonna give them tprmoney.com slash Megan Lynch. Now, when they go to tprmoney.com, it's actually gonna look like this. And I apologize, I have a launch call too. So I might have to hop off of here in a second. I'm not really good at time, as you guys can tell, but so I apologize. You're gonna to go to tprmoney.com slash whatever your name is. This is what it's gonna look like. Now it looks great, it's very simple back here, but it's gonna get better and better. There's gonna be videos back here, there's gonna be marketing tools, but really this is just a funnel. It's just for you to get people to go to this website and you're gonna see that as people scroll down, they're gonna learn that TPR money means trade, profit, repeat. So when somebody asks you, what do we do? That's what we do. We trade, we profit, we repeat the process. That's the simplicity of our business, okay? Um, so basically this website is very simple and basic. It does exactly what it's supposed to do, not confuse the people. You're gonna go to get started at the top and all you're gonna do, LA, you're gonna send all of your prospects to this page. They're gonna go right here, okay? They jump in, they put their username, Make sure that they use something that's going to be, you know, good for their business because it's their business link. They're going to put their first and last name, their email address, and their phone number. That's what Reagan and I had you guys do. And they're going to click I've read and sign up now. When they go to sign up now, it is going to tell them a next step. It's going to tell them to download the Rapid Funnel app. But where are these people, where do they go? As soon as they sign up, they're actually going to go into your back office. Okay, so let me show you this really quickly. 
All right, so I'll just use this person as an example. They're gonna go into your back office and they're not just gonna fall haphazardly anywhere in your downline because you wouldn't want that to happen. One second. Oh, let me make sure you guys can unmute. I'm gonna allow you guys to unmute just in case, but it's 201 and I, and I gotta get off here for a second. Um, so I apologize. One second. Okay, thank you, Reagan. I overextend myself often. So I got a bunch of launch calls today. So I'm very transparent, guys. I'm showing you my back office because I didn't, this is you guys right here. I didn't work for this. This never happens. That's why I said, we're not going to be greedy because by the grace of God, I asked for my team to be taken care of. When I came into this company, I told the owner, if you can give me, you know, some help. And if I have this power leg, then I can make sure that my whole entire team stays together. And I don't think you guys understand what this means. The fact that I could take all 60 of my personals and put them all together, all of my leaders who are running like crazy and stick them together, all of you guys on here are benefiting from the efforts of LA and Selena and Byron and Sunshine and you know all of these people who, LaShonda's and I can keep going, Amanda's, Lena's, I could keep going on and on, um, Deshaun, so don't let me leave anybody out, but I will. So basically, you guys will fall into this, um, thank you, Reagan. She's coming in, like, get to the point. Uh, you guys are going to go, they're going to go into a funnel. So as soon as they go into that tprmoney.com, they're going to go into your back office, and it's going to say holding tank back here. So they're not going to fall just anywhere in your business. They're going to go into the holding tank. And then all you have to do is do what Reagan and I did, is place your people. And you're gonna make sure that you understand how to place them before you just start placing them. But they'll fall in here and you just remove them and put them into your downline, okay? Now what these people are gonna be doing, guys, is they're gonna actually be upgrading. So again, here are the steps, take a picture of this and then I'm gonna hop off um, videos to come. So you're gonna know what your username is. Uh -oh. Darn it, back. My bad. Know what your username is. And then you're going to give people your link. Then you're going to go to download the app, the Rapid Funnel app. And I'm giving you guys the group code right now. Okay. The group code is MMT. Now, when you put that group code in there, I want you guys to make sure that once you put it in there and you're going to be putting some information, I need you to wait for the video. I'm getting ready to post a video. You can go back there, but put in the code and then watch the video first so you can make sure that you understand that you're putting all of your information in there, okay? It's basic information, but there are some things that I want you to do. This Rapid Funnel app is the best marketing tool ever. It's gonna market your entire business. So look for my video today and you're gonna spend all day today figuring out the best way to market your business through, through this app, okay? Now, you're, what you're not gonna see on there is the upgrade code, and this is what we were talking about. We can't, we can't control everything. Apple um, is not ready yet, and by Monday, then there's gonna, I want you guys to keep looking, because it might happen today, it might happen tomorrow, it may happen Monday, but it is gonna happen um, by Monday. I want you guys to do two things refer people to your site and you need to make sure that you are checking that rapid funnel and doing the things I tell you to do on the video so that you're ready to market your business and then have your $49 because there's going to be a button that tells you to pay and it's not back there right now so I'll let you guys know but you can check back there yourself and keep looking for that upgrade button but you have to learn how to market first now for those people who are new members you guys want to make sure that all you're doing right now is sending people to your marketing funnel. They're going to go into, they're going to create an account through tprmoney.com. These are new people. And then they're going to go into the um, back office and it'll tell them to download rapid funnel. So let me say this one more time right here. Take a picture. Those of you who are already in the system, you should not be, 
creating an account. You already have an account. You just have to go to tprmoney.com and slash put your username in there. You're already in the system. So you don't have to put your information in this website. Do not do it. It's going to create another account for you. Don't do that. If you're already in the system, Byron, you already have a link. So use your link and start passing your link to everybody and their mom so they can sign up in your business. Okay. And then they're going to, it's going to tell them to download rapid funnel and the group code is MMT. Okay. Unmute real quick, guys. What are your questions before I tell you this last? Megan, you got a launch call. Can you, can we do this afterwards? Because somebody's suffering from this. Yep. 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 So take a picture. Thank you, LA. You and right. Megan, like, get off of here. Okay. So I'll put this video in the chat. I need you guys to just um, get your link. Start referring. That's about it. Anybody else have a question before I get off? Yeah, I'm just going to say we'll put the images in the Telegram. We'll do some voice recordings. Um, get in the Telegram. Everything's in there. The steps I gave you guys last night, there were still people asking for the group code. Please follow directions. So all I need you guys to do, this is Reagan, get in the Telegram. Everything's going to be in there. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. I know I spent a lot of time on the mindset stuff, but you can not do any of this stuff if you're mindset, right? right? All right. Well, thank you guys so much. And um, we will have some videos. Thank you. Megan. You're welcome. I'll see you guys. Look for the videos. Thank you very much. Thank you for all you do. Thank, thank you. See you guys. Peace out. See you. Peace out, Megan. Send me the recording, Megan. Okay. Will do. Thanks.